All right, so what's this island's architecture that Astro keeps talking about? Well, to give a basic definition in the framework, an island is just a component where you can choose how and when to ship client-side JavaScript. So let's explain that with an example. Here I'm trying to build a mobile view with my favorite framework like React View or Svelte. So I'm gonna break it down with components. I have a nav component here, a hero component, and an image carousel. And traditionally, each of these are gonna have a little JavaScript bundle associated with them that you don't have much control over. So Astro said, why don't we let you control those kilobytes? For example, the hero banner doesn't need any JavaScript since it's just some text and links. We can server render that. So let's avoid shipping JavaScript for that island. Then my nav bar is gonna ship some JavaScript for a slide out menu, but on desktop, since it's just some static links, maybe I can avoid shipping JavaScript entirely with the media query. And then my image carousel is below the fold, so maybe I can wait to load those kilobytes when it scrolls into view. I'll draw a terrible little stopwatch down here to represent that. Only load 10 kilobytes when you scroll down. So let's jump into a code example to see how this is possible. Thanks, Ben. Here we import our nav component with a client media directive, so it will only load JavaScript if the width is below this number of pixels. We also import our hero component with no client directive, and then we add the client visible directive to the carousel. If we take a look at the site, you can see that this hydrated button works fine on mobile, but if we reload the page on desktop, it won't work because the component wasn't hydrated. This button will never work because the hero doesn't have a client directive at all. And as for the carousel, you can see that as I scroll down, a bunch of stuff starts loading as soon as the carousel gets on the screen, making sure it's hydrated by the time you see it. I hope that helps explain islands and the client directive in Astro, and I'll see you back at the station for more.